have been watching the very latest from Albuquerque police investigators sharing they have a suspect in custody connected to the murders of four Muslim men in the city. That suspect is 51 year old Mohammed Saeed. Police officially charging Saeed with two of these killings, sharing they searched his car and his home, finding a gun matching bullet cases at the scene. Investigators believe Saeed is also tied to two other shootings, but are still collecting evidence before deciding on additional charges. We continue now with Action 7 News at four. Now looking at the timelines for these murders, it starts back in November of last year when Mohammed Ahmadi was shot outside a store he owned. This year on July 26, Aftab Hussein was shot near his home. Several days later, Mohammed Afsal Hussein was also shot near his home. And most recently, Naeem Hussein was shot Friday night outside an organization that serves refugees and asylum seekers. Now all of this brings us to today that suspected car located. 51 year old Mohammed Saeed taken into custody right now. Saeed charged with the July murder of Aftab Hussein and the August 1st murder of Mohammed Afsal Hussein. Throughout this, safety for the Muslim community has been a priority. The head of the Islamic Center of New Mexico telling ABC News one way they are working to make sure the community feels safer is by expanding their meal program. They're now able to feed students at UNM, which they say is one of their most vulnerable groups. UNM also has houses many of our students that are a very vulnerable part of the community at this point you know they have no means to travel they generally travel on foot from their dorms or from apartments that live close so we're working hand in hand with the city of albuquerque as well they've offered meals as well he also says they're encouraging everyone to only travel in groups and not go out at night and if you see anything unusual to call police University now also working to try and keep students safe. They hosted a seminar for more than 700 students and teachers yesterday about their partnership with APD and New Mexico State Police. They say they're working to set up a 311 system to help students get access to trauma counseling and help with groceries or hot meals. We are aware that this is a frightening and disheartening situation, and this leaves everyone in our UNM community feeling insecure. UNM says they are working with students, advisors, and faculty to change the times or types of late night in person courses for the duration of the emergency. Police urging students to be smart about their safety by being aware of your surroundings and not walking around looking at your cell phone or with your headphones in. The family of the fourth victim, Naeem Hussein, who was killed just last Friday, speaking to KOAT reporter Stephanie Muniz. Hussein's family sharing that he loved Albuquerque, staying here even after his family wanted him to move closer to home. But uh, he's like, no, it's it's really beautiful. But he was, you know, planning to slowly transition into Virginia, but uh, uh, didn't happen. But as far as Albuquerque, he he loved the lifestyle there. He loved how it was lay, more laid back and um, the topography as well. Yeah. We will continue to hear from Hussein's family throughout all of our newscast tonight. And once again. These are the four men who were murdered. The person believed to be behind their murders now in custody, officially charged right now only with two of their murders. The Islamic Center says they are having a memorial for those victims. We will have more on that throughout tonight's newscast.